That's the buck, though. I think that one's a doe. On a buck. Pretty nice buck. Going through the trees. Come on up this way. jumped them like three different times. They keep giving us a slip. We 
we're cruising down this dirt road here and I looked out and I seen a buck with a pretty sizable wreck taking off that way and right behind him two seconds later a doe so me and Tom jumped out tried to circle ahead of him and then we were seeing flashes of him going through I think at one point you seen what Tom one with a small rack big rack oh big rack yeah. so he must have saw again the buck that I seen but when we got back through here we seen some deer running through these pines and I seen one with a smaller rack so putting the pieces of the puzzle together it looks like it was two bucks with three does and uh yeah they just they were a step ahead of us and they got down into that thick steep steep stuff so we're gonna mark it and maybe let it rest for a while come back in here this, this evening maybe tomorrow morning we'll see what the rest of the day has to hold up There was another smaller buck too. Wow. Total of two bucks, three does. Wow. Yeah. They, and they, the have tore, they have tore the fucking ground up up there. Well, let's go find another one. Let's do that. In two bucks, three does, and there's just a pile of sign in here. Kicked out beds, tracks, trails, where they're pawing out the, 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 the duff. You don't want to drive down that fucking rough ass road any further than you have to. You gotta go up, Rich. Might be something else back in there. Might be. She's real close. Oh, she's getting up. Other deer to the right of her. <laughs> Can you see the other deer, Tom? Yeah. Can't tell, but I think it's a doe. Sean, can you get binocs on that other deer? Yeah, it's a doe. It's a yeah, doe. It's a doe, too. So when the guys drew this uh, X7B, there's five members uh, that drew the tags. Yeah. And uh, you know, for the most part, I've been here with uh, Tom and Sean. But if you've seen yesterday, uh, Rippy and uh, Dave paid a visit to camp last night, and they're out doing some hunting this morning. Uh, they've seen some deer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go meet up with them because it's getting on around noon. And we're gonna have some lunch and uh, discuss the day's events. From there, we're gonna run on down to, uh, uh, oh, where the hell are we going? Truckee. Truckee. <laughs> Pick up some stuff and then get back in here for a good evening hunt. So, uh, we're gonna go meet up with Dave and Rippy right now. Bucks. One was at least one was a porker horn, the other one was at least a three by three. All I caught was just a glimpse of his rack as he went through the brush, but well, never got a shot off. Yeah, I got a good look at him yeah. while we were in the truck. I spotted him, but these guys, and yeah, he was wide, he was tall, he was a pretty, pretty good buck. So they're by themselves, right? Hmm? No, they were with uh, what three, four does? Yeah, there was two bucks and three does. Wow, cool. One was a big we boy. These, the only bucks with these does would be there. Lunch time. I think we got some sandwich makings. I think they brought the grill. 
who knows but we're gonna eat because i'm hungry what you looking for boss i'm just sitting here oh. taking up space mm -hmm. Well, this is the last morning. Yep. Gonna go find that big buck we seen well, yesterday. So we jumped a doe in a couple fawns in real close quarters. We sat around for a little while and waited in case there was any other deer in the area. And I went back on the road. It's not what we thought to be a doe and a fawn. And then four more came. Total of six. No, no horns. No horns yet. So we've seen eight or nine does so far. No horns. We're seeing them at the last group we saw at about 100 yards and I couldn't get real good video of it. With all these does in the area. And with the bucks showing rutting activity. There's gotta be those two bucks from yesterday around here somewhere. <clears throat> they just weren't with the does. So that side by side came by. So we're gonna give it a few minutes. Let them get down their ways. And uh, seen eight does so far, a lot of deer. 
Just uh, haven't seen any orange yet. But we'll get on. We're hunting the edge of a ridge line that drops all the way down to the Truckee River. It's apparent that they like to bed up here on top or just off the edge. <laughs> we were on the side of the fucking road. <laughs> So after that side-by-side -side went by this morning, we haven't seen anything, so we called Sean up to come pick us up. And we're gonna cruise some of these old roads to see what we can find. Seen eight deer total this morning. Looked promising, those bucks just weren't with them. So we got out of there, met back up with Dave and Rippy. Let's see how they're doing. You guys see any deer this morning? Five down by the boat ramp, the, the road to the boat ramp. Oh yeah? <laughs> Little bitty fuckers. No horns, huh? Okay. So I'm thinking the whole time going, this is it, here we go. Yeah. And nope, not one of them had horns. You guys didn't hear that shot though of an hour after you took off? Yeah. But it was down lower from where we were. I was at. waiting for my radio to go. All right, come and get us. We got one. Yeah. <laughs> no. no. Oh, there's one guy out there in a boat. Any advice to anybody coming over and hunting X seven B? Spend about five days scouting prior to. Yeah. A lot more here to see the weekend. Come on the weekend. <laughs> no, only hunt weekends. Okay. Yeah, only hunt on the weekends. <laughs> yeah, I would highly recommend put in for X seven A. I think it's tougher hunting. A lot yeah. more heavy timber and brush and yeah. shit and it's, it's harder to see like most of the a-zones i've ever hunted you know you've got all kinds of open spaces and you know places you can sit and watch and hunt. Yeah. and if you don't know this area up here you can spend a month up here and yeah. then catch a buck yeah. i will do i will say this though for this area they've the deforest deforestation that they've done the clearing the forest yeah. for the most part 90 percent of it you can see through the forest which makes it huntable, yeah. very huntable you, know, you can see, see back through the trees. Beginning of the trip, what we were doing is we were trying to, uh, we were scouting for deer up high, and uh, we were doing that. They seen we seen a number, a few does when you guys came up here before I came up here, but uh, early in the season, we pretty much found out that the deer are pretty much at the lower elevations, like b below Stampede Boca Reservoir, all, out to uh, Kyber's Flats. Uh, we were seeing deer, you know, pretty much all the low areas down there. And around the lakes as well. Yeah. yeah. But we camped up high. So if you're going to come up to X7B again, would you would you continue to camp up high or would you want to come camp I down lower? I think that would have a lot. Well, actually, no, I wouldn't camp high. Yeah. First of all, we were hopeful for weather. We never got it, which yeah. changes the whole game. But, yeah. Uh, but no, I would camp. I would camp low like Kyber's flat area, try to find a, a, an open area where you can, if you want to pay, fine, but yeah. um, it's probably the best place to, to camp. Um, we found out in the last couple of weeks because of the traveling we've done. Yeah. And we've always gone there to hunt, mostly. Yeah. The amount of gas <laughs> that was spent on the 700, 800 miles of dirt road travel that we spent, not only scouting, but hunting, I'm sure that camping low probably would have, uh, you know, probably cut that in half, you know. 
It was a learning curve. We learned a lot, a hell of a lot. Yeah. You know, every, huh? We get fortunate yeah. to be drawn back here again. We, we know the scenario, where to start, yeah. where to camp, yeah. where to hunt. And you guys are going to see all of that because I'm showing everything that we did and the places that we did it, you know. You got any, uh, Tom, you had your opportunity. Yeah, you know, you, we got on some bucks. I think this trip, we probably seen uh, six legal bucks. Uh, you both missed, both Tom and Sean missed one, but Sean got one early. And Sean, like a trooper, stuck it out here with us with a buck down. But that's, you know, that's how these guys do it, man. They got each other's backs, you know. But it's all over the two, Shelford, it's all over two counties for what, 10 days? <laughs> yeah, at least. Well, they shot it on the 4th. Fourth. Fourth. Today's the, days the 16th. 15th, do the math. 15th, yeah. yeah. So well, 11 days. Yeah. How many days of hunting? This is day 18 that we've been here? We've well, been we had, here. This is 18 days we've been here. We got here yeah. three days before the season started. Yeah. And we definitely learned a lot about the area. I mean, if you've reached this far into the series, then you've seen all the areas that we've been. I mean, I haven't left no stone unturned of showing you guys where we've been. But, uh, I mean, in my opinion, it was uh, <laughs> this is the longest hunting trip I've been on. And it was a fantastic trip. Hunting with these guys was great. To be up here with two guys that uh, know how to run a camp, know how to hunt deer. And it was it was just, it was a fantastic trip. And uh, you guys, any final thoughts? Yeah, I <laughs> Put you thank Richard for oh. all of his uh, assistance and with his yeah. uh, Onyx hunt apps. And, you know, yeah. he trailed me everywhere I went. Yeah. <laughs> and he's got some good advice too. So yeah. I appreciate that. And I'm glad he came with us. Oh. Thanks, I appreciate that. The thing I'd like to add to that is that he did some homework prior to us, even weeks before we even came up here. When he got the the invite to come along and please come along and do your thing, because he does it so well, he j immediately started doing homework and looking at migration trails and recent kill areas. And very helpful, very informative. It gave us some guidance to even start with, although we didn't listen at first, but. <laughs> We spent a lot of time there. Yeah. Yes, no. we did. Yeah. We ended up and getting... Thank you for that, by the oh, way. Oh, yeah. I, no, man. You know, that's that's the least I could do being invited up here. You know what I mean? Uh, it was it was just... Uh, it's been a trip, man. We still got some cleanup to do and all that, but uh, pretty much, unless a buck walks through our camp, <laughs> before it gets dark, we're pretty much done, and we're all heading out tomorrow. And you know, I'm not... I'm not unhappy with the trip. I missed the yeah. buck, you know. Yeah. My fault, it was a tough shot, but you know what? Yeah. Can't hit, and so just getting the opportunity yeah. to get a shot at one makes the trip for me. Yeah. Tom's a great shot. He's a great marksman. He's won awards in the past. It's just shit happens sometimes, you know. The deer were at a couple steps, and uh, it was just great. Went right over his back, man. It was... Yeah, I got deer meat in the freezer. I got one in A-zone, <laughs> yeah. so I'm not disappointed at all. Yeah, by now, I'll show it again, but by now you've seen Tom's A-zone buck from this year. But, uh, but yeah, you know, it's just, it's been a great trip. But right now we're at camp and we're having a few drinks and uh, getting stuff ready to pack out of here tomorrow. But uh, this has been great, man. Hey folks, that was the seventh video on the X7B series chronicling the last couple days of our hunt. But this series isn't over yet. I have one more video to do uh, before the 2023 draw. I'm going to put out a more comprehensive video on X7B uh, chronicling all our GPS coordinates and the places to stay. And I'm also going to give my recommendations of places where I camp and places where I hunt if I ever do that tag. So look forward to that video. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the page, ring the bell so you can get notifications, and we will see you next time on California Public Land Hunter. See ya. That's the end of it. 
Everybody's gone. Still here? If you'd like to make a contribution to the channel and help keep me on the road, there's a PayPal link in the description box.